See, I tried another way. What the fuck do we have? Cliffs, cliffs, more cliffs. It's all fucking cliffs. I really don't know, I, I don't have any other choice but to go back to the original lake that I was injured on and head for the outlet and go down there. Unfucking believable. <sighs> Fuck. Because where I was on that lake when I was injured, I was planning to go around. Uh, I can't think straight right now. I was planning to go around one shoreline to the outlet and head down because that was my route that I was going to take. But after being injured, I decided to take the other way because it was quicker to get over to the rest of the basin and down. Yeah, it would have been if it wasn't for cliffs. So I've wasted probably, by the time I get over here, I'll have wasted probably more than an hour on futile routes to try and get out of this son of a bitch in basin. <sighs> yeah, it sucks. It really sucks. And you know, I'm sure a lot of people would want to know in this situation if I have any regrets being out here doing all this cross country alone. No, I don't have any regrets. I don't. This situation sucks badly, but what's the regret really? So what if I had a beacon or a spot? What am I going to do? Call on a chopper? I can walk. They'd just find me two grand for calling in a chopper when I can walk. And if I was with other people, what are they going to do to help you? They can't do anything. This is just one of those situations that's like, it doesn't matter. Nobody can do anything for you. You're on your own. Even if you weren't alone out here, you're still on your own. You got to get yourself out. The only thing that would have helped is some painkillers. That would have helped. Well, you know, it is what it is. Oh, well. So, all right, attempt. Another attempt to get out of this damn area. So I'll head back to this other lake and go around it.